well greetings and very warm salutations decided to um, come back out and do a spot more of some trotting same area but I think it's going to be more tricky today the yeah, very sunny conditions very warm so much so I've got just a pair of trousers that I'm going to wade with in my wading trainers they're just cheap trainers really that I'm using for wading but yeah far too warm for chesties so yep decided to come out water levels lower so it might be a case of scratching around for a few bites on the float but decided to go with a shorter rod today than last time this is a 10 foot TFG gear or fish tech TFG compact float rod 10 foot in length so it's a little bit better for where the trees are here but still gives me enough to be able to mend the line now as you will have noticed on my last video I had issues with that particular centre pin partly my fault I undid the locking nut just a little bit too much and that come off and then the spring broke so that's got to be repaired so I've decided to come out today with this particular one this is also a TFG or sold by TFG on the fish tech website this is their um so uh, classic river classic center pin very nice perfect little trotting pin and unlike the um, last pin that I was using the locking nut is concealed in a shroud so you can't lose it so it's loaded with the same setup same line as on my previous video got with me some maggots to loose feed in and fish with and a little bit of bread should I wish to use it hoping that the pike don't gate crush the party like the last trip I've also bought with me a keep net whether I use it or not remains to be seen, but we shall see. That's the sum of it. As I say, really sunny conditions. Water levels drop quite a bit. Water's quite clear, so fish may be a bit spooky and bites may well be at a premium. So we shall see how it goes. But is there ever a bad time to be in the British countryside as, as an angler and enjoy wetting a line, enjoy the scenery, the setting, nature's theatre? You know, I can't think of a bad time or a bad fishing trip if you said you was going fishing and you went fishing that on its own is an accomplishment I can tell you and I'm sure you guys can agree with that anyway let's crack on get my little converted bed chair organizer waste bag on me get into the river and see what might be willing to pick up a maggot or two as the float trots along a nice run on this particular waterway Pikes grab this fish. Yeah. This is Gudgeon with a very lucky escape there. Turned into a super powerful Gudgeon there when a pike grabbed her. Got off lightly, really. Look, a few scales there missing, but none the worse for wear. She's fine. Always the problem, isn't it, when you start trotting? You always get the pike turning up. Not that I mind pike, just not when I'm trotting. Pikes grab one of my fish.
A little bit cheeky, isn't it? Hey, grabbing my fish. What are you doing, cheeky soul? <laughs> A nicely, perfectly formed jack. <laughs> yeah, did nibble my fish there. I think there was a little roach that I had on. Yeah, perfectly formed, lovely condition. Hooked a bigger one on my last trip. That was a low double from what I could see for the few seconds I had it on. But yeah, immaculate condition, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Although, hoping it doesn't spook the swim too much. I'll try and release him upstream, but he'll probably come back again. Oops, and um, try and munch some more fish knowing these cheeky, cheeky water wolves. About that for a perfectly formed perch. Lovely, resplendent colours, beautiful, vivid, obviously like a <laughs> really like a red riding hood rouge on the fins. Gorgeous tiger stripes, lovely limey greens, dark bars, how absolutely gorgeous. standing there's a log right here I keep tripping over it. Little chump. Very nice. Lost a couple of better fish earlier. Probably bigger chump slip the hook. Oh, I could get used to this. I'm a nice looking perch, really nice condition. Look at that, flare in its dorsal as well. What a gorgeous looking river stripey. How resplendent, wonderful.
first little roach of the trip. Remember, I've not started till half three. So hopefully the fish will start picking up a bit more as that sun moves across and off the water, although it's shady here, which is giving me a few more bites because it is shady. There is areas where the sun is on the water. Roach are turning up a little bit now as well. It's really nice. Another resplendent gudgeon, or as they are also affectionately known as gonks. Really nice. Nice to be getting a few. I don't see as many as you're used to, but tend to catch quite a few on this river, which is always nice. How lovely is that? Mother of pearl, like a mini barbel. Another nice gudgeon. Absolutely superb. I can't emphasize how much it is so enjoyable to catch these. Look at that. Lovely condition. Very, very good. Hate to say it, but it is true. Very, very good perch live and dead bait.
another little red fin. Lovely sheen, that kind of grey, slate grey, lovely green bar, healthy looking fish. Lovely iridescent orange iris as well. Plenty of these gorgeous looking little fellas which will grow into big minnow and cheese paste and bread flake warriors. Nice, oops, nicely conditioned juvenile chub. I'll take a look at that for greedy. All that just spilled out of the, this perch's mouth. Now, I'm not mistaken, there's a little bit of raw fish in there. Might even be a bit of crayfish as well. Plenty of my maggots. I'll tell you what, there's some lovely perch knocking about. Wouldn't be surprised if there's the odd two or three pounder, maybe even bigger. How about that for a lovely August perch? Beautiful condition. Absolutely gorgeous.
How brilliant is that? How superb. I'm catching plenty of garden today. Plenty. Now I get as much enjoyment from catching fish of this stamp on the float as I do catching a big chub, big barb, and tench, etc. It's just, it's soul food for an angler's heart and mind, it really is. Another very iridescently marked and splendid looking gudgeon. Nice looking roach, nice shoulder to it, quite plump for its size anyway. As expected, the lights moved off the water quite well now. Lots of roach turning up. Really, really nice.
at that. Yeah, and um, yeah, another gudgeon. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful to see these. I mean, I sound like I'm probably a bit off my head, don't I? Or, or high on some kind of crack. I can assure you the only crack that I'm high on is the piscatorial fisherman kind. But yeah, so wonderful to see the gudgeon about. I've had quite a few today. It's really, really cheering me up. Not that I need cheering up, but it's just so nice to see them. Yeah, another gudgeon. Wow. Another gonk, an absolutely gorgeous looking gudgeon. Oh, you know what, chaps? I, I honestly can't remember having a trip for so long where I've had so many gudgeon. It's just absolutely superb. It really is.
I'll tell you what, it really is the gudgeon honeypot. <laughs> it's just absolutely wonderful. It's amazing. So many gudgeon. It's just a nice, nice area where I've been getting the bites. You've got a channel here. And I'm running it along this deeper side. As I said on my one of my previous videos when I float fish down here before. And you've got a deeper area through the middle, but you've got at the tail end of the run, you've got a couple of nice weed beds picking up a lot of bites as it's going towards that area and through it. Just hardly the lights fading a bit too much. I do need to get out of the river. But I'll tell you what, I've never caught so many gudgeon in ages. Take a look at a few of the fish. I did lose a couple of better fish earlier, which I did think was better charm. Mm. Oh, calm down. There we go. Nice plump perch. Very nice too. Very nice. Nice little roach there. A very lively roach. Another angry perch with its gills being flared out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very nice too. Lots of lots of small juvenile roach. Very, very, very good sign. couple more roach there. Only youngsters but very very pristine condition.
quite a few juvenile chevin. Red fins are plenty. Another plump young chevin. Lots of roach and some nice ones along here too. It's nice to see a mixture of year classes, isn't it? Another perfectly formed chevin. Another little chub. What I'm most impressed with though is all those. That's all gudgeon. And at one point it was nearly one a, one a cast. I've not had that many gudgeon <laughs> since I was a since I was a child. So let's count the gudgeon collective, shall we? Lots of these. One. Off you go. Two. Three. Four. This is the one that has a near miss with a pike. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. going at all very nice there's a couple more as well that I had um, just gonna take a quick photo of these two chunky looking gudgeons and slip them back as well but yeah being furry enjoyable anyway I'm gonna do a little selfie with my little gonk friends I'm well, not a selfie just a, a palm picture of them they are so beautiful anyway as I say I'm gonna have to get going the lights going I've got way back across the river which isn't too far but I've got to get back out as well um, got to be back to the car in time to get picked up or should I say back to the landing zone <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been a pleasure to bring you guys it it's so enjoyable doing a bit of trotting and it's nice because you know I do a lot of link leisure fishing I'll do a lot of leisuring I'll do a lot of specimen barbel and chub fishing perch fishing etc I don't always do so much trotting so it's been nice to get my eye in again and you know you can't beat running a float through you can't beat being in a river you get to feel so much more connected with it and also get a good feel for what the actual variance and the topography of the bottom's like when you're walking along. And it's just been so, so enjoyable and I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, do consider clicking the thumbs up button. That would be really, really kind of you. And if you're not subscribed, you should really hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That's my unbiased verdict anyway. And if you have enjoyed, as I say, the video, do take time to maybe consider sharing it also on your group pages, your forums, Facebook, Instagram, etc. You'll be doing me an immense favour. Anyway, from a little river with some cracking gudgeon, some absolutely glorious gonks, I'll bid you a fine farewell chaps and I'll see you on another video. Tight lines.
Tell a lie, just found another two gudgeon in one of the uh, folds of the keep net. <laughs> Absolute stacks of gudgeon. Absolute stacks of gudgeon. Anyway, till next time guys.